So let's see where we are here. So if we go up one level and we're in our Oracle Web Logic directory, there's a samples directory. If we go into our samples directory, you can see that we have all sorts of samples for creating all different types of domains. The one that we're going to create is this one right here, the 12213-domain. So if we go into that one, you'll see that there's a Docker file here and a readme file. The Docker file contains all the instructions for basically creating a WebLogic domain. And if we view that Docker file, you can view this, this is all plain text, right? So we can see that it's built on top of the Oracle WebLogic 12213 image that we just created. And then we can see here that the environment command, as I mentioned earlier, sets up some environment variables. And we can see here that we have some predefined environment variables. So this is the beauty of using the Docker files provided by Oracle, is that this gives you a head start on establishing a WebLogic environment. So let's do that. Let's, or you can actually take a look at the build.shell script here, which we'll just run. So to build a 12213 domain, just run the build script. Again, we can verify that the Docker image was built correctly. So do a Docker images. And you can see here that we now have a 122213-domain image. Okay, so now we're done building images. We have an image for Java. We have an image for the WebLogic product itself, which is built on top of Java. And we have an image for the domain, the WebLogic domain itself. So think of these images as templates. They're definitions of, of a WebLogic domain or the product install. So they don't, they're not actually actual instances or nothing's running at this point in order to deploy and start up a web logic domain such as you know like an admin server um, we are going to run an image by running an image uh, we're actually creating an instance of an image and that's called a container that's the actual container itself that's a single process that's going to be running on your docker host and inside of that process is going to be the image or excuse me the container that contains java web logic the operating system.